everyone, my name is So Yoke. Today, my group member and I will present our group assignment. This is my group member's names. We select 50 sample in appendix 1 and this is our 50 sample. Step 1 decided of the number of classes, so we get K is 6, therefore the number of classes is 64 rather than 50. Step 2 determine the class internal of 5, so we get total is 11.5 when rounded off is 12. Table 1, frequency description group data. In this table, we have 3 columns which is class, tally, and frequency. In class, we get 6 classes. In tally, we make a tally mark and make sure the number is right. Lastly, in total frequency, must is 50. This is the table for community frequency. The community frequency for first class is 4, the second class is 60, the third class is 32, then is 43, next is 46, and last is 50. This is the table for relative frequency. We can take class divide frequency to get relative frequency. The relative frequency for first class is 0 by 0 x, the second class is 0 by 24, the third class is 0 by 32, then is 0 by 22, next is 0 by 06, and last is 0 by 08. In graphical mentor, we have frequency histogram and community frequency pie chart. This is our frequency histogram. And this is our community frequency pie chart. To check a center of the DC, we have to find a mean, median, and mode. Firstly, to find a mean, um, the formula is um, x um, fs divided by n. So x equal to 4 sig at 4 divided by 50, we get 93.68. The mean of labor force by H crew in Perak 1982 2019 is 93.68. To find the median, um, step 1, determine the location median class. So n divided by 50, 50 divided by 2, we get 25 observation. And therefore, the median class is 86 to 97. Step 2, determine the lower class of boundary LM. So we get 85.5. Step 3, uh, we get 16 of frequency. And step 4, determine class size or class width. Upper minus by lower, we get 12. And step 5, calculate the median, we get 92.25 is median. To find a mode, um, uh, so step 1, determine the location of the model class. Based on the higher frequency, the model class is 86 to 97. Step 2, determine the lower class boundary, so we get 85.5. Step 3 is determine the class width, we get 12 and determine the before median and after middle class so we get 4 and after class we get 5 so step 5 calculate the mode we get 90.83 so the highest labor force by H group in Terra 1982-2019 is 90.83 Hi, my name is Niyanki. Number metric is H21A2267. I am taking part of measure of variation. It's about expressing the degree of variation in random variable. Compare measure of location. Step 1 is calculate the range. We are using the maximum data entry minus minimum data entry. The, that is 133 minus 62 equal 71. Therefore, the range is 71. Therefore, the sigma square is 8771.00612. Plus, the sample standard deviation is 93.65. Therefore, the sample variance is about 8771.00612 and the sample standard deviation is about 93.65. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nufar Ayn Binti Sabri. My metric number is H2A2400. Today, I want to explain about measure of position. A measure of position determines the position of a single value in a relation to others' values in a simple or a population data set. So, uh, I have to find out the midpoint frequency, relative frequency and cumulative frequency based on the tables that I provide. Uh, so, after I find out all the data in the table, goes to the step 1. So, step 1, uh, we must find out the Q1 and the Q3. So, Q1 formula is N divided by 4. So, Q1 
50 divided by 4 so the the answer is 12.5 so the class interval is 74 until 85 so the Q3 is 3n divided by 4 so the answer is 37.5 so the class interval is 98 until 109 so after settle step 1 and step 2 the Q3 must minus with the Q1 so uh, the Q3 is 97.34 minus with Q1 is 82.88 so the answer is 14.46 so the next one is a uh, shape of data distribution I determine the shape of data dis distribution is uh, right skew distribution mean higher than median but median higher than mode so uh, the picture is the example of the shape of data distribution Good morning, madam. My name is Wang Wenying. My matching number is H21820016. Now I want to present about introduction to the data and variables involved. The variables in a study of a cause and effect relationship are called the independent and dependent variable. Independent variable. An independent variable is the variable you manipulate or vary in an experimental study to exploit its effect. It's called independent because it's not influenced by other variables in the study. Next is dependent variable. A dependent variable is the variable that changes as a result of the independent variable's manipulation. It's the outcome you're interested in measuring and it depends on your independent variable. The table shows that the number of students and their CGPA. We have chosen 35 number of students as our sample. My name is Wong Ho Ying. The number of card metric is H21A2749. This is the table Pearson's correlation coefficient after we have calculated. In conclusion, we can know that their correlation between the number of students and their GPA is negative 0.095. This indicates a very weak association. This is simple linear regression we calculate. For the B1, we got negative 3.393. And B0 answer is 64.32